Hi everyone, Scott Smith, Russ Snack BMW, Southern California. Check out this M4. We just put some great dining equipment in. Great aftermarket high performance company. Um, we started up a relationship with them. So this one is a new, brand new 2015 M4 Coupe. Mineral, mineral gray metallic with the black interior. We've got uh, the upgraded black double ribbed uh, kidney grill in this one. As you can see, this one's got the adaptive xenon headlights, which are standard. And this one's got your standard alloy, or excuse me, the upgraded 19 inch wheels. And di slightly different design. Um, we've got also the M Performance compound brakes on here, four piston up front, two piston in the back. And you can see they've done a lot of mods to the body style. M4 here, M4 there, functional rear diffuser here for the wheel well. Let's go on and move to the back of the car. Get a little rev time with Johnson. Not bad. So this one here, we've got the uh, dining exhaust system put on. We've also got the stage one module. Um, also that'll include the software. I'll talk to you about that in just a second. We've also done the pedal kit. Let's go on and look underneath the hood. Your signature carbon fiber strut brace there. What a nice touch. Thanks Johnson. This was in your M Power uh, turbo six cylinder inline three liter. Now the factory has it measured at 425 horsepower, 406 in torque. BMW got it rated at zero to 60, 3.9 seconds. Sorry for the wind guys if I'm picking it up here. One thing to tell you about the dining is that um, it is here dealer installed we have a relationship with them one of the high quality companies aftermarket definitely and they even have a warranty that's included with their products um, which mirrors the factory warranty on these new cars so um, one thing to mention the rear exhaust here um, drops about three pounds off the car putting on their exhaust adds about five horsepower now one thing about the Upgraded, um, upgraded uh, module and software is that we know BMW usually is typically pretty modest on their horsepower and also on their torque from the factory. Um, so one thing I wanted to mention here is with the Dynan package is that we're looking at a peak horsepower of 516 at 6,000 RPM and torque at 489. So definitely a nice mod you can put on your car and just turn this car into just a whole nother level of a monster. One of our master techs here has had race cars, done a lot of different things to different vehicles, and he's actually already done this package on another vehicle. And he said it was just insane um, what happens to this car. Now, one note I have to make is that we've already got the module installed and the exhaust. Um, the software will be installed after the 1200 mile mandatory service from the manufacturer so that is just something that you guys you have to do you can avoid your entire warranty if you do not do your 12 mile service okay just something to mention cars just want just under 185 inches long just under 3600 pounds let's go check out the sticker on this one this one is a carbon fiber roof, which is standard on the vehicle. Helps with rigidity and drops that center of gravity just a little bit more. Here's your sticker on this one. You can see your base price. See the packages, the executive package. We've got the double clutch. We've got the adaptive M suspension, which I'd recommend. There's your 19 inch wheels for an upgrade of $1,200 rear sunshade got the sound system in here so you can see here this one's at just under 76.5 US dollars 
There's your mileage, 1724. Your final assembly. Now guys, you can always go to dinin.com, check out all their different mods they have for all their different all the different vehicles we make. There's just some of our added stuff on there. Dining equipment. Let's check out the interior. Contrast stitching. You got the nice kind of a black chrome silver inside. Very cool touch. Pretty much we order most of these now with our carbon fiber interior trim. You got the signature seats with the glowing M badge. Really nice to see that at night when you're walking up and unlocking your car. Big nav screen, 8.9 inches, 20 gig hard drive. It's got the double clutch with all the modifications to engine performance, steering, suspension. And these come with a sliding armrest where they're stationary in the normal models. Great space in the back seat, guys. You can easily put four adults in here. And there is a adjustable air conditioning, heating, and a power source there for you. Let's open up the trunk. It does come standard with fold down seats. 60 40 split. Guys, these do have true tires on them, not run flats. There's your gel pack in case you do get a flat tire. A little bit more storage down here. As you can see, we don't put the front license plate mount on until the owner wants it at the time of delivery or later on, just because it does have to be permanently put in. And you can see this one's got the black chrome around the windows, the shadow line exterior, which is standard. And it's got the Harman Kardon sound system. Big gauges, easy to read, M Sport steering wheel, with your own exclusive paddle shifter design. Also, you can see down here we've got the pad the uh, pedal kit, excuse me, from Dynan. So you also have that on here. And you dining guys, we've got about seven points here for the badges um, with the exhaust, software module, and also the pedal kit. We've got about seven points towards your badge. Definitely a nice aggressive sound. But what a horsepower gain. Got the black headliner, custom rear seats, headrests. So they really have done a lot to this car, guys, turning it into an M. You know, it's not just pure performance, but a lot of styling. Cool, let me get you another shot from the outside. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, if any of you guys have any dining cars currently driving them, yeah, let us know how, what you think and how they feel, and love to hear some of your stories. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.